Today in the woodyard, tongs. We're talking tongs with Tony. Here we go. So for this segment, we're gonna talk about wood tongs, which uh, some people might get confused with thongs. No, do no, you have no. your thong on today? No. I do. No, do you, I, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna talk about tongs and lifting and what we use them for. Um, let's see what you've got here. What do you What do you got that's old? What do you got that's new? Tell me what you like. Well, firstly, I'm surprised you don't use them. I am just absolutely surprised. Well, there's a lot of stuff I don't have, Tony. Oh my God. <laughs> no, just from the standpoint of saving your back. Well, um, yep, that's, that's, a good, that's a good thing to save. The first one that I bought many, many years ago is the Baco, B-A-C-H-O, I believe is the way. B-A-B-A-H. H-C-O. Yeah, it is H. Let right. me zoom B -A -H -C -O. in on that. B-A-H-C-O. I think the camera cost. Yep, yep. The cost on these are about $70. No kidding? Yeah. Oh, these I are, never would have guessed that. Yep. Uh, the tips are extremely sharp on these things. Mm -hmm. The advantage of this, um, there's many other companies who make them, but the reason I like these is when I walk over and pick up a piece of wood, instead of piecing up, picking up in the center, which I do, I like coming around the end, it lifts it up, that way I don't have to go down as far. Nice. And then to, to release it, I just give just it a- tip it up? I wow. just tip it up and it drops off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he didn't release his grip. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the 11 inch. Okay, and that was that is, and, and that's the same, this is the same one, but a smaller version? This is the smaller version. Usually in Europe, they have a lot of these. They carry them in a little backpack mm -hmm. pouch. Uh, same company, Fiskars has come up with the same unit, or should I say, they have a, a, a unit similar. It's a little pistol grip that you pull open this. The advantage on this one over this one is you have this little clip. Though not recommended, you can put a chain on here, you can grab the log and pull it out of the woods hmm. with your ATV or whatever. So instead of a choker, you can use this to to pull logs like a, out. Like a mini choker, basically. Exactly. A, a hand yep. choker, yeah. But the Fiskar, they don't, at least to my knowledge, the last, uh, I left Fiskar two years ago, uh, they did not have a larger one than this. So this is the small one. Hmm. Um, I did get one of the timber tough ones. It works. I'm not very impressed. So, Tony and I were just talking before we started this. Um, we're talking about Timber Tough. Everything I've ever bought broke. Yeah. <laughs> or well, it was it was everything I ever bought the Timber Tough stuff. It, it's it's. I'm not going to say anything. Not, it's not good. It 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 works. Well, I'll show you on the yeah, it'll, log here. It'll work. It does work. You know, so it does lift it, but it's just a little more difficult. And like I said, very flimsy. The tips are marginal, they're okay. Yeah. Um, this is definitely not my go-to tool. I usually, exactly. if I'm working with people, I give them this one. <laughs> well, so. Is that a good thing to give them that? Cause then they're less productive or? Just... Well, at least I have the good one. <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, the, the Timber Tough did, I think this is them. Yeah, I think they, those um, are nice. These I've used I prefer the other ones over this. This definitely will work. Yep. But not as easy to release. So I have to bring this back down and release it. So it's a they, shorter version. Right. right. Then they have the longer version here that you can do. And that works better. And that, well, it isn't that it works better. It's for longer logs, oh, okay. 18 inches. Whereas this one is for the 16 inches. Okay. There's a couple other companies out there. Ironically, the name might sound funny, but it's called Pinchalog. And it's a company <laughs> nice. that- Nice, nice it's, name. It, it is. It's um, it one that goes to 21 inches. Oh, okay. But be careful about going bigger because that also is much heavier. Oh, so yeah. I'll stick with the 11 inch. And that's about as much as I want to carry. Right, oh, right, right. You're talking log size. The then. log right, size, right, right, yeah. Right. But as far as- having to move the logs to my truck or somewhere, I definitely would not be without them. The last item that I have in the lineup 
is the hook. And the purpose for this is if I need to move a log and I don't have my cant hook and I want to make the last cut at the bottom, I put this in there and I can pull it over. I can pull sure. the whole log over. Sure. Do you use that sometimes at all when you're splitting for handling the wood, for turning it Not over or all. never? No. Okay, never I see guys, splitting. I've seen guys do that occasionally. Yeah. They'll use a little hand tool. No, um, I use my uh, little hook that I have. For oh, oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah log this hook. This one here, I have used it for moving logs and the leverage on it is very, very good. So, and then Ooh. lastly, we have in our arsenal is a two-man carry. Mm -hmm. And more or less self-explanatory, it digs in, two people, one on each side, and it just, as long as it could dig in, can lift straight up. So you can pull, if you don't have your ATV or whatever, you can carry logs out. Right, and we did just use it just to move a couple logs, and it does work pretty good for two guys yep. uh, to pull it out. But uh, to me, it's just such a big tool it to is, take and into it's the heavy woods. And, and you got to carry it. So yeah. I don't use it much, but it, it has come in handy a couple of times. And what we did a little while ago is we each took one of the the log, the, tongs. the log tongs and we pulled a couple logs on we each grabbed on each end to lift it up so show us then <laughs> that's nice how it just kind of grabs them like that and you can flick them so easily i like that being able to reach into the pile too cool You're still bending over, but not as far. Exactly. So it's saving you some reach there. So how big can you go? Like, what would be your maximum? Probably uh, like this. Oh, this one's, yeah, you can actually go longer than. Well, I, I just wanted to do... width-wise, width I just wondered. Yeah. Probably this I one back here. I could probably do this one here. Oh, nice. That's a good size log there. Yeah. I mean. That's, that's why I say be careful what you want on longer or bigger log tongs. Yeah, that's that is a good size. What about uh, this one here? Well, you, you can. You can oh, sure, yeah, right exactly. There. That's what I that's so what I thought you would these, do. You can just offset it nice. and grab it. Yeah, cool. One of the things that you when I don't want to get wet or when it's frozen wood or whatever, I can come up to this grab it with both of them, not have to bend down and still be able to carry this without hurting my back. Right. Nice. Or if you got two guys, you each grab one. Which, which way right. did we each grab or an end and you can pull them if around? If you wanted to grab a piece of wood, trying to reach over there and grab it with this, you just hook it in and bring it right out. Yeah. And then nice. if you want, flick so it. So it's just a flick of the wrist is all it is. a flick of the wrist. Got it. Very cool. So, if you had to take just one in the woods, what's it going to be? Without a doubt, this one. And those this are the, is the one that I carry with me at all times. And those are the seventy-dollar ones. And what was the well, name? Well, uh, mind you, the uh, Husqvarna makes this. Oh, I believe Steel okay. makes it too. But just the log tongue in an eleven-inch or so. Uh, there is the log ox. I don't own one, so I can't really give a review on that one. But it looks like it's pretty good, mm -hmm. multi-purpose. The with the with the um, ability to lift the logs as well. It has a longer tube. I don't know about how I'd get used to that, but I'm sure I could. Longer, longer tube, how do you um, mean on the, the handle? log ox, it's a long tube with a handle. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the log tongs, so. Cool. So, there you go. And uh, I guess I need to buy one now. <laughs> well, if you want to save your back, no, I want to use my back. <laughs> there you go. No, I, I'm. What I'm more than any. It's not that I'm. A, I, I want to save my back. Uh, there are days like when I stack wood is when it gets me the more worst. If I stack oh, for eight hours, that's um, hurt. That yeah, but I find I get asked this all the time. Doesn't your back ever get tired? And I honestly, the more I use it, the better I feel. And we were just talking about this before that. When I go on a trip, like say a hunting trip or a vacation, and I'm not working in the woodyard for, you know, four, five, six days, and I come back that very first day, it's like, oh man, oh my back. But then the next day, 
it's a little better. The next day, it's a little better. The next day, it's a little better. And after about four, five, six days, my back doesn't hurt anymore. It's, well, it's, it's using it, stretching. And I stretch a lot. I stretch my hamstrings a lot. Um, um, but yeah, it, it's bending over where you're, you're hunched over all the time is what gets you. Well, all the tools that we have shown with the hookaroon, the pickaroon, the uh, log lifts, that basically really saves the back for the long term. Right, and that's that's the key to keep doing this as long as possible because we're going to do this till we're ninety at least, right? Oh, that young? <laughs> well, you want to go to one hundred? Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. I feel I feel actually happy when you see a guy that literally is in his upper eighties and nineties and he's still out There's in the woods. One, one awesome. guy on YouTube, ninety-four year old in Brunswick, really? that is still cutting wood to this day. That is awesome. Ninety-four years old. That is awesome, and he yeah. probably heats with wood. Probably done I, I his don't know, life. but he had a business and that's what he does. Wow. It was inspiring to watch that video. That is awesome. Cool. Thanks for the show of the you toys bet. again. Like I said, Tony's got tools <laughs> and uh, he's got a lot of good ones. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Please hit the buttons. You know what to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back in the wood yard. You should be in the wood yard too because it's the place to be, isn't it? You betcha. Between now and then, get out in the woods and get cutting and good night, Irene. <laughs> There you go. See you tomorrow.